want to begin by thanking all of the incredible medical professionals, the doctors, the nurses, everybody at Walter Reed Medical Center. I think it's the finest in the world for the incredible job they've been doing. Uh, I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. I have to be back because we still have to make America great again. We've done an awfully good job of that, but we still have steps to go and we have to finish that job. And I'll be back. I think I'll be back soon. And I look forward to finishing up the campaign the way it was started and the way we've been doing and the kind of numbers that we've been doing. We've been so proud of it. But this was something that happened and it's happened to millions of people all over the world and I'm fighting for them not just in the U.S., I'm fighting for them all over the world. We're going to beat this coronavirus or whatever you want to call it, and we're going to beat it soundly. So many things have happened. If you look at the therapeutics, which I'm taking right now, some of them, and others are coming out soon that are looking like, uh, frankly, they're miracles, if you want to know the truth. They're miracles. People criticize me when I say that. But we have things happening that look like they're miracles coming down from God. So I just want to tell you that I'm starting to feel good. Uh, you don't know over the next period of a few days, I guess that's the real test. So we'll be seeing what happens over those next, co next couple of days. I just want to be so thankful for all of the support I've seen, whether it's on television or reading about it. Uh, I most of all appreciate what's been said by the American people, by almost a bipartisan consensus of American people. It's a beautiful thing to see, and I very much appreciate it, and I won't forget it. I promise you that. I also want to thank the leaders of the world for uh, their condolences, and their they know what we're going through. They know what, as your leader, what I have to go through. But I had no choice, because I just didn't want to stay in the White House. I was given that alternative. Stay in the White House, lock yourself in, don't ever leave, don't even go to the Oval Office, just stay upstairs and enjoy it. Don't see people, don't talk to people, and just be done with it. And I can't do that. I had to be out front, and this is America, this is the United States, this is the greatest country in the world, this is the most powerful country in the world. I can't be locked up in a room upstairs and totally safe and uh, just say, hey, whatever happens, happens. I can't do that. We have to confront problems. As a leader, you have to confront problems. There's never been a great leader that would have done that. So that's where it is. I'm doing well. I want to thank everybody. Our First Lady is doing very well. Melania asked me to say something as to the respect that she has for our country, the love that she has for our country. And uh, we're both doing well. Melania is uh, really handling it very nicely. As you've probably read, she's slightly younger than me, just a little tiny bit. And uh, therefore, just we know the disease, we know the situation with age versus uh, younger people. And uh, Melania is handling it statistically like it's supposed to be handled. And uh, that makes me very happy and it makes the country very happy. But I'm also doing well and I think we're going to have a very good result. Again, over the next few days, we're going to probably know for sure. So I just want to thank everybody out there, everybody all over the world, specifically the United States. The outpouring of love has been incredible. I will never forget. Thank you very much.